Tencent makes a new zombie apocalypse game. The next Call of Duty will return to World War II and Apex Legends new character has been leaked. Welcome everybody to a brand new video of Gamer Connect and you guys are watching Top Gaming News. My name is Gin Manus and please help us by hitting that like button and commenting down below as the video goes along. In a world filled with zombie survival games, what new can you make? More zombie survival games. That's the answer. Because Tencent is making a new game by the name Undawn where you see a group of people who are surviving in this post-apocalyptic zombie world. The game promises both PvE and PvP where you can trade with others which will help your base and stuff like that. These are general things when it comes to online survival games. But according to the executive producer at developer Lightspeed and Quantum Studios, he says that he wanted to make a world with a mix of action and RPG that would redefine the genre. And yes, since it's from Tencent, which means it will be coming to mobile and PC. Other than that, nothing else has been officially unveiled. But there is a gameplay video which shows what the game really looks like. And yeah, if you have played PUBG Mobile, I think you will easily understand what this game is and how this game works because the UI is very very much similar. After watching 10 minutes of the gameplay, I was not convinced that this game will be a redefinition of the genre as the executive producer was saying. It felt very normal, nothing special there. The only difference which actually annoys me is when you aim down the sight, you go from third person to first person. Other than that, it's like the same zombie survival game which is on mobile to be honest and I find that world very boring. The gameplay is actually from the mobile and not from PC so maybe things might look a bit different in PC, you never know. Although the website has something new to add, there is a group which you see the same characters that you see in the game or in the trailer but there is another group called Factions. One of them is a clown. What? A clown in a zombie apocalypse? Yep, that's right, we need a joker in a zombie apocalypse game, why not? They are completely different, they are more buffed, completely off, it looks like it's a DLC pack with new skins like how PUBG was getting. It is. It looks just odd to have them in a world of zombie apocalypse which is I think is sci-fi at the same time. I don't know, it just doesn't fit right and it's still there. So I don't know how that is gonna be. So what do you guys think about this new zombie survival game called Undawn? I mean it looks not so promising but maybe for mobile gamers it could be a lot promising game. They might even have a lot of fun because I've not seen a lot of zombie apocalypse game in mobile. Usually it's it is very limited, and I think this game is also sort of sort of limited, but I think it is much more open. So I think for mobile gamers, this could be very good. But for PC gamers, I don't know if this is any better than games like DayZ. I think I would play DayZ rather than playing this game. Last week there was a gameplay overview shown for Stalker 2, talking about how the game looks and how the game might feel. With this you might be thinking that it would showcase the gameplay, should showcase the world, showcase how you're living in, maybe some differences between Stalker and this game. None of that is here, like a zero. Instead the video showcased the character design, how they looked, the armor that they're wearing, along with the backpack that has scratches, the small amount of details that they have added which looks absolutely great, enhancing those details and making sure that this game has much more quality details than ever. They also showed some weapons which went for two long minutes. I really felt that that portion of the video was way too long. It kept on going. Those are just 3D models of guns. I mean they look great but they are 3D models of guns which you have seen before if you know what I mean. They also showed how they are able to change the teeth variation of each person making it silver coated teeth instead of a normal teeth. Now all of this looks really cool, the, the visual uh, design looks impressive, especially when you compare this game with Stalker and how different the game looks, the character design and the guns, how different it looks and how uh, you know fresh it looks. But the most important thing at this point is how Stalker 2 is different than that of Stalker. I mean, you need to show the gameplay, you need to show the gameplay footages, maybe some differences, maybe new things that you have added in the game and that was not shown, which is kind of disappointing when it comes to you know, showcasing something new about Stalker. All they did was showcase how good you look visually and how how many guns there are. This video does not help you get more excited about Stalker 2, although the excitement is still there because of course Stalker is one of the most like hardcore games where you have to survive in this post-apocalyptic world of Chernobyl and you have this tactical shooting experience. But you know, Stalker 2 
is coming after so long and you still are not getting any kind of gameplay footages and stuff like that which is kind of disappointing doesn't help the excitement to you know level up um, even though everything that they've shown looks really impressive the visual aspect of it looks impressive especially when it comes to character models and gun models but you need to show more of the worlds and what the game has Zach, who is in charge of PR for GRC Game World, has actually told that they will be revealing something about the gameplay pretty soon. So I hope in there they will show more about the world, the setting, and where we are, and what has changed, what has been added, and more. Because that is where the excitement actually lies in. And I hope that they bring that version out. The next Call of Duty that will be releasing this year is apparently leaked. It's going back to World War II and will be called Call of Duty World War II Vanguard and is being developed by Sledgehammer Games, the same studios who made World War II. And here I was thinking that there will be a new Modern Warfare 2. <sighs> so disappointing. This info comes from Modern Warzone website that talks about Call of Duty and this report is also backed up by Eurogamer. According to Modern Warzone, the game will be set in 1950s, although World War II ended in 1945. So they believe that Call of Duty is going to a more fictional storyline where World War II did not end in 1945 and continued till 1950s. Well, even though this could be possible, Eurogamer says that this information is not legit. Rather, the game will have a traditional World War II setting. The subtitle Vanguard was also supposed to change according to Modern Warzone, but Eurogamer says that for now, Vanguard is going to be the subtitle of the game. Currently, there are three studios making Call of Duty games. One is Infinity Ward, who is making the present day Call of Duty with Modern Warfare. Second is Triarch, who is making Black Ops game. And third is Sledgehammer, who is making other games. <laughs> and yes, I do think that World War II might be a good mix between two Call of Duties or after two releases of two different Call of Duties, but I don't know how it's gonna stand. Call of Duty World War when it came out in my opinion was a good game. It had a good storyline, a decent storyline in my opinion. I didn't have any feelings for a lot of the characters although there are some scenes or some moments where I actually had some kind of emotional attachments to some of these characters. Other than that the story was kind of decent. The multiplayer of the game was actually much better than the previous games. It had some really cool innovative ideas that they implanted in the game which actually helped people play that game even more. So I think multiplayer aspect of World War was really well done. Although the biggest thing right now for Call of Duty is Warzone. Even though Activision did say that they will be continuing Warzone with a future Call of Duty that includes 2021's Call of Duty, I don't know how Warzone will be going from a modern setting to a World War II era. Right now zombies have taken over some parts of Warzone. So it's definitely going to be odd going back to World War II era with Warzone. Because then it will include guns from that era mixed with modern guns. It's a mixture that you never thought you wanted. Although all of this is still a rumor, we don't know if it's official whether World War II Vanguard is going to be the next game. But one thing is for sure that Infinity Ward and Triarch are not creating the next Call of Duty games right now, which means Sledgehammer might be making the next game. And if that's the case, this Vanguard game might be the next one. But again, we have to wait until wait, November or maybe October or maybe before that, to understand what's going on with Call of Duty. Speaking of another zombie apocalypse game, Back 4 Blood, which essentially is Left 4 Dead 3, was supposed to come out by June this year, but now is being delayed till October 12th. This announcement happened on Twitter, where they mentioned that they need more time to make this game even better. Now, in my opinion, this is a good move to help you know develop the game even better and make sure that they release this game with how players want it because last year they did release an alpha version of the game for people to play and people had a lot of feedbacks on the game and now they have more time to work on those feedbacks and make sure that when the game releases they actually has have worked on things that were lacking in alpha and you know improve the game much more. Now anyone who has played Left 4 Dead will easily be able to recognize Back 4 Blood. It is actually made by the same devs that made Left 4 Dead as they formed a new company called Turtle Lock Studios. Even though in some ways it's Left 4 Dead 3 but it has some really innovative additions. Now if you want to experience this game yourself, there will be an open beta. It will be coming this summer although there is no date when. So just wait and see when the game comes out because there is going to be an open beta and, and I'm telling you, you will actually really like this game because it's mindless fun. Who doesn't like mindless fun from Left 4 Dead? It's beautiful. Every few months we see a new legend dropping into Apex Legends and now it looks like we know who that is. A data miner by the name Biased12 
who previously helped drop the info about Season 7's new legend named Horizon, released a video for the next new legend. This guy's name is Blisk and the best part about Blisk is his ultimate. His ultimate brings down a titan which wrecks havoc in the area for some amount of time and then gets destroyed. Now we do know that Apex Legends are in the same universe as that of Titanfall 2 and in Titanfall 2 you can bring these, these titans in that you can control and use you know the same things passive abilities and have a ultimate ability as well that you know takes fight to the next level. But that was just not added in the game. Back in 2019 when Apex Legends was launched uh, a lot of questions came upon where they were asked whether Titans will be an addition in the game and they did say that there were a lot of Titans that they were going to add but then later on decided that it won't fit in the game so they just removed them. Now obviously with this Titan Ultimate of Blisk you cannot control the Titan but at least we are seeing a Titan in the game for the first time. Bias also showed a screenshot of Blisk abilities. His passive ability is a pilot kit which can hack survey beacons by just using his knife and can also wall run with that ability. The tactical ability is him creating a damaging zone powered by the arena's ring. This could mean something similar to the ring flare where you are the only ones who is not getting any damage. And the ultimate is standby for Titanfall which I already talked about. The current expectation is that this legend comes in season 9 but season 9 for now does not have any release date. And by looking at the track record of this guy who has actually proven uh, and shown the new legend horizon when season 7 was about to come out that itself proves that maybe this leak could be true but then again it's like we are close to April 1st so of course I mean you never know it could be a, a trick a, a joke so we never know what things are gonna be unless and until we actually see what's going to happen but it's really cool to see that a new legend can bring a titan and I hope that maybe later down in the line they can introduce more titans in the game I don't know how that is going to work but it would be really cool to have them. With this we come to an end of top gaming news. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like, comment down below talking about any of the news we just discussed and remember to subscribe to this channel for more news, videos just like this and many more. My name is Ginmanis and I shall see you guys next week. Until then stay awesome, stay healthy and always remember to have fun as you play games.